Hi everyone, I'm Marty Jutt with the Medicine Hat Interpreter Program. We're managed by Grasslands Naturalists and we bring you quality programming all year long. Recently, I've been able to travel to a number of different trade shows with our grant from Environment Canada to talk to people about our local native prairies and the plants and animals that need them to survive. With the display that we bring along, we've been focusing on a particular grassland bird, the Sprague's Pipit, because its presence on the landscape indicates a healthy ecosystem. One of the unexpected outcomes of talking to people at these events is how surprised they are to learn that most of our grassland birds prefer to live in areas completely absent of any trees. Contrary to popular belief, most of our grassland birds don't need trees to survive. In fact, they prefer to live out in wide open expanses of native prairie as far away from trees as possible. In reality, trees on the prairie landscape in most cases are detrimental to grassland birds. Other vertical structures like wells, buildings, power lines, and even fence lines can act as de facto trees and be just as troublesome. In the spring, the prairie will come alive with the songs and calls of our grassland bird species that like to live out in wide open, unbroken areas of native prairie. The list includes the Sprague's Pipit, Baird Sparrow, McCown's Longspur, Chestnut Collared Longspur, Burring Owl, Greater Sage Grouse, Marbled Godwit, and Long Billed Curlew, just to name a few. So remember everyone, the next time you're traveling outside the city, the grasslands that you're passing by while you're rolling along the highway are filled with plants and animals that are found nowhere else in the world. And yes, they can do quite fine without any trees. If you want more information about our native prairie or anything else natural, give us a call on the Nature Line at 403-529-6225. Or better yet, come down to the Nature Center and visit us in person. We're open year round, Tuesday through Sunday, nine to five, and we'd love to see you. I'm Marty Drett, hoping you'll get out and explore our local native prairie.